So the one thing I loved about being in this festival, which is different from a lot of the other short play festivals that I've been a part of, is the way Anthony brings the other playwrights together. Um, we got to sit in a Zoom call together for, for his podcast, um, Indie Arts, and we got to talk. And most of the time when I do a lot of short plays uh, and short play festivals, I don't get to meet the other playwrights. We're all over the country. Sometimes we'll be able to attend a festival that's nearby. Sometimes we won't. Even if it's on Zoom, I don't often get a chance to meet with the other playwrights. And by having these conversations and being able to meet the other writers, it's great. Because one, as a writer, I'm, it's often a solitary, lonely activity where we're in a room on a laptop by ourselves a lot. So getting able to meet, getting, being able to meet other people who are like us but also with this festival being a mental health festival and about very important topics and issues, getting to hear why each playwright chose their specific topic and why they chose to delve into that specific issue. It was just a fascinating experience of hearing all these different playwrights from all over the country and all different backgrounds talk about their process and the issues that matter to them. And it was a really unique experience being able to be brought together. And I'm looking forward to being able to meet the playwrights from this go round for the July festival and getting a chance to talk with them and hear their stories. Hi, my name is Stephen Hayat. If you wanna learn a little bit more about my play Dinosaur and the Talking It Out Festival, watch this video. So for Dinosaur, up until Dinosaur, I had mainly written comedies and Dinosaur is probably the darkest comedy that I had written to that point. And it, it it's more of a dramatic comedy. Um, uh, one thing about the play of why I want to write it. I was, at the time I was t uh, trying to write a play on a mental health issue. And for me who has anxiety, I, I want to write a play that dealt with it. And I also wanted to deal with current events. And in Dinosaur, I dealt with a lot of a person who is worried that they won't matter and that they are just going to be, the, that their existence is just collateral damage on a larger scale. Um, the idea of dinosaur is the main character is afraid she's going to be eaten by a dinosaur because she was watching Jurassic World the night before and saw someone get eaten by a dinosaur. And that idea came to me when I was watching Jurassic World on TV. And there's this one supporting character who plays the babysitter for the two kids who are at the park. And her whole existence in the movie is just to show up, watch the kids, and then get eaten by a dinosaur in an absolutely brutal fashion. And that is this character's whole existence. And for the character in my play, Dinosaur, of seeing this one character and thinking, oh, I'm just the side character that might not matter. And whether I live or die, if I was to die, I would just be part of a statistic. Like I wouldn't be remembered. And dealing with that issue. And that was something I wanted to dive into. And it was a tough play to write, but it was one that I was very proud of when I was able to finish it. I don't want to give too much about the play away, but the main premise is that the main character is doesn't want to leave her house. She doesn't want to leave her room because she's afraid of being eaten by a dinosaur. Um, because if she stays in her room and under her blanket, she's safe. But the minute she goes outside, she's at risk. And I wrote this before the pandemic. And I, but the idea that the anxiety of leaving the room, of getting out of bed, of of staying in your room where you know it's safe instead of facing the unknown of the world and the anxiety it, it brings to leave your house not knowing what's gonna happen to you. Um, I want to try to capture that. So the premise starts with her talk, her friends trying to get her to go to this concert that she keeps bailing on um, and they keep having to reschedule and get new tickets and change the date because the main character is afraid to leave her room because she doesn't want to get eaten by a dinosaur. And, and that's kind of the gist of the play. And hopefully if you get a chance to watch it in July, you'll see more where it goes. But that's the kind of what I want to tackle in the play. What do I want the audience to get out of this play? I want them to relate to the characters. I, and hopefully they will see some of themselves in these characters. Um, even with the absurdity of a person thinking they're gonna get eaten by a dinosaur, they can relate a little bit to that moment of saying, of, of being afraid of the unknown a little bit. Um, 
the play is also a little bit of a commentary on the current times in which they live, we live. And I want people to relate to that. And I also, with theater and such an important thing about theater is empathy and being empathetic towards other people. And especially in this festival about mental health awareness, I want people, everyone has people in their life who struggle with some sort of, of mental illness, anxiety, uh, depression, and to be understanding and be there for them and to try to give them what they need, not what you think they need, um, and be supportive. And hopefully this story about two friends um, will be something that can hopefully help people think of the friends in their own life who may be going through some issues and what they can do and what they need to help them. I'm looking forward to seeing the new plays and the playwrights that were accepted for this festival and getting to meet them and hear their stories and what issues they choose to tackle. Um, in the last edition I was in, each playwright had a different issue that their play was focused on. And I'm really intrigued to see what'll be tackled in this one. I'm also looking forward to meeting the actors and seeing what they bring to the story. And my favorite thing about theater and especially in short plays where short plays are easier to replicate and do in multiple festivals in different places because it's not a big elaborate production, especially on Zoom, um, is seeing different actors' approaches to plays and how they take on the roles. And this play, Dinosaur, was last performed on Zoom in Arkansas, I believe. And before that, it was performed in Sydney, Australia, right before the pandemic. It was like one of the weeks or so leading up to right before the pandemic uh, shut down in, 20, uh, in 2020. It was right in that February, March area, maybe a little later because it was in Australia. Um, and seeing those actors takes on the roles and then meeting two new actors and seeing them bring their own background and personality, individuality and uniqueness to this role. That's the most amazing part is seeing how an actor can take the words I wrote and make it their own. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that process. Well, why should viewers watch the Talking It Out Festival? Mental health still has a stigma. I think it's come a long way where people are feeling more open and comfortable about talking about themselves and their own struggles and what they're going through. Um, but I still feel there's the stigma. And even sometimes when I tell people I have anxiety, I worry that they're gonna go, ooh, does that mean he can't handle what I'm about to throw at him? Is it too much for him? Is he weak? And I still feel that little bit of stigma in society. And we have, with this festival, an opportunity for people to tell stories, to show what people are going through and, and, and make it more than just a symptom or something that's written on a paper, a diagnosis. It's a chance to have actual characters and actual issues and have people experience it. Um, because we don't talk about mental health as much as we should, um, being able to see it is a good way to learn about it. Um, and being able to see it in a festival, one that also the proceeds go to support the National Alliance on Mental Illness, um, which is a great organization. Um, being able to do that is just such an important festival. Um, being able to share ideas and raise money to help people with mental illness and help combat the stigma of mental illness. Why are local theaters so important and need the community help? These are theaters that bring people together on the local level, um, whether people wanna be professional actors or just people who love being involved in theater and art and creating, it brings people together. And they also are able to take risks and try new things and tell new stories. Because there's not, when it comes to commercial theater, the really big theaters and Broadway theaters, there's so much money involved in making a production that it's really tough to invest millions of dollars in something and not know if it's gonna be a financial success. When you're at the independent theater level and this level uh, on this community level, we can try new things and we can take risks and we can tell new stories and involve different people and try all these things and, and do this freely and create freely and take these chances. And that's why it's so, so important to try these things because we are able to give people opportunities um, to tell stories that you normally wouldn't be able to. Theaters like Anthony, especially, are able to come together and tell very specific stories, how talking it out is about mental illness and being able to tell stories relating to that and being able to get these issues out in the open so people can see 
what we're going through as a community and what different people are dealing with and being more understanding and empathetic. Um, and that's something we can do on this level. Um, also, and this is my bias as a guy who writes a lot of short plays, the independent level of theaters where you see a lot of short plays. Um, I can't think of any time Broadway had a series of 10 minute plays. So this level is where lots of playwrights, and I know when I was starting writing, was able to get my work out into the world and meet different writers and actors and directors and, and different theater producers in the community. And it's just so important for building that theater community or having these groups of people who come together, not because they, they want to make money necessarily, but because they want to create and make art. And there's something uh, incredible about this level and why we should support it. My name is Stephen Hayat. If you enjoyed this conversation and you're interested in seeing Dinosaur and these other terrific plays, they'll be part of the Talking Out Festival. I hope you'll come check it out. Talking It Out will be this July on Zoom and there'll be more information. Check it out.